My next guest was a once a gold trader, but now she's pioneering a business, putting a public face on gold broking. I'm joined by Krista Waddle. She is the chief executive of Ounces to Pounds. So this is, uh, just tell us how your business works, first up. Well, it's basically a Tupperware party in reverse, where instead of coming to your friend's home to buy some um, kitchen items, you end up selling your old gold and leaving with cash. Right, so you, you, you people turn up and you go, one of your representatives will go, uh, right, well, that's, that's not 24 carats, that's 9 carats. So, uh, they have to have a certain amount of trust in you, don't they? They do. We have um, the highest grade testing equipment that all of our gold experts bring with us. Um, everything's done on a computer. It's all very technical. But at the same time, it's a party environment. So it gives people a good feeling about selling their, their unwanted gold instead of going down to the pawnbrokers. Right, and you would be offering more than that. I mean, so Definitely. let's say, how much would you be selling uh, an, or buying an ounce of gold for? We pay between 60 to 80 percent, depending on the, spot price, on the spot price, depending on the quality and quantity that they're bringing that day. Right, and you're expanding globally now as well, aren't you? We where, are. where are you exactly? Right now we're in Las Vegas, uh, LA and Australia. We're looking at Japan and Spain at the moment, and of course London. Okay, so you know, how does one get involved with this then? Just give us an idea. Well, if someone wants to have a party, they can call our office or go to our website and book online, and then they can also um, refer a friend, which has been our massive way that we've grown because everyone who comes to a party sees how much fun it is and is able to they're all able to get rid of their old gold and then they want to have a party themselves and you must be during these uh, well, these sort of testing times out there seeing an upsurge in demand there has been it's been an upsurge in demand but it, not as much as you would think i don't think it's been a relationship between the recession and people selling their gold. It's your business is just growing anyway. It's just so, growing yeah. anyway, but it's also a market that's never been tapped. There's never been a way for ladies who don't want to go to a pawnbroker to go sell their old jewelry. All right, well, give us an idea of where you think gold prices are headed. Well, with the, with the current trends, it seems that it's going to probably be hitting about 1500 by the end of the year. Um, of course, that's optimistic on my end. Yeah, yeah <laughs> but, you, you would be, wouldn't you? So you, yeah. you do you actually hold on to the gold as you wait for that to go up? Um, we do hold on to it and then sell it as operations Dictate, are, I suppose. Dictate, yeah. yes. Yeah. Thanks a, a, a lot for that. That's Krista Waddle. She's the chief executive of ANSYS.